Hey everyone, Solar Primal here. Welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Alright, now that business is back up, I kind of want to see if we can maybe procure some more stuff. Yeah, there we go. These guys have artifacts. Yeah, they got pretty much the witch's wand. Okay, nothing too crazy with that one. Okay, either way. We got some stuff we need to sell. Who has it? Uh, yeah, that mace. I'll sell that, and I think that's about it for now. Let's see what they got for buying. Broadsword, hunter sword, that's a, that's a new one, but it's not as good as the other thing we got. Same with that, and heavy mace, same thing. Okay, so we're good on the weapons. Let's see how we are for the armor. Oh, there's some new stuff. Adept clothes. Oh, that's better. We'll give that to Jenna. Without hesitation, we'll do it. She's not wearing any fancy armor herself, so that's fine. Bronze shield. That can't be better than the one I already have. Leather armor. Definitely not better than what I already got. I think leather gloves is what I had before, so we're good there. Leather armor. Nope. Open helm, I'm wearing the open helm. Wooden cap. Boosting it up to one? Cool. We're good. And regular circlet. Ah, okay. So the only upgrade really was uh, Jenna's thing. That's fine. So now we got that. Everyone's kind of back to normal now. You hear the master the... There's something special in you. Don't have to hide our secret from you any longer. That's not where the kid was. All right. I'm trying to find that kid. I'm, I'm just curious now. Wherever that kid went. Yeah, I just saw a soul of a man in a well. Huh. Oh, there you are. Found you. Hey, you're the guy sinks for last night. Oh yeah, that's right. You probably don't recognize me in my human form. I was a kid in the cave, a little, little werewolf. I'm the reason you can stay in our village and we don't have to wear hoods. Neat. Well, let's see if we can head back over to Maha. And also, I wanted to check out the other path since we didn't actually go this way. Just out of curiosity, might be a dead end, which it is. Just confirming my suspicions. But let's go say hello to Mr. Maha, or Master Maha. Mahi Maha. Mahi hi ha ha ha. Nah. Because we didn't actually get to see inside. Ah, you okay? I want to see inside there. Okay, fine, maybe later. I've been waiting for you. Would you mind telling us, telling me, a little bit more about werewolves? Uh, you want to know the reason we possess the power to transform into beasts? Ah, well, I, uh, actually. Yes. Do you find it strange that we can change our shapes? Um, well, um, yes. But surely changing one's shape is not really all that unusual. What are you getting at? Think about the caterpillar for a moment. When the time is right, it does not transform into, does it not transform into a beautiful butterfly? Well, yeah, it's only natural. And the pill bug and, and hedgehog, do they not change their shapes to protect themselves? I have heard of these creatures, yes. And many amphibians possess the power to change color at will, correct? I don't know if it's amphibians, but that's all right. In light of all this, do you mean to tell me you find werewolves so abnormal? Oh, well, to be honest, I hadn't thought of it like that way before. Perhaps you simply do not give it enough thought. How insulting! I, sir, am a scientist! Indeed, a scientist. That is impressive. I have spent a great deal of time thinking about werewolves. For a time, I even felt cursed to be 
been born a werewolf. But after taking a bit more objective look at nature, I realized that weaker species have survived by evolving, by transforming. Don't you agree? Think about it for a moment. Without changing their bodies with weapons and armor, humans would be very weak creatures indeed. I believe that evolving into werewolves is just one way for humanity to survive. But that's... Of course, there's no way I can prove this theory. But I felt that your our ability to use Whirlwind was evidence of this. Whirlwind? Why? I had thought only the people of Garo could use Whirlwind. It was a gift known only to werewolves. To Garo's pack. And that... Only a chosen few could use Reveal. But now I found that you, too, can use these. What does that all mean? Why are you able to use Whirlwind? And what is an adept? Master Maha, do you know if the continent called Angara... Angara? It lies far north of the Eastern Sea. Angara. In the middle of Angara, there is a peak called Mount Alf. Alif. Mount Alif. Then it's true. Our legend says this peak has stood since the world began. If Mount Alif does exist, then perhaps our legends are true. It does exist. These two hail from the village that is based at Mount Aleph, a village called Vale. They come from Mount Aleph. Incredible. And they are both adepts, and while their powers may vary, uh, everyone from Vale is an adept to a certain degree. Then does that not make them like us in Goro? In Vale, the myth says that Mount Aleph itself gave birth to the Adepts. This is not what the legend of Goro tells us. As a people, they are quite gifted, but it goes far beyond that. The mythical stones on Mount Aleph, the Synergy Stones, they are closely linked to the powers of the townsfolk. Synergy stones, you say? If they were similar stones in Garo, it might explain your powers as well. And what manner of stones are these synergy stones? You've seen them, Maha. The shining stone at the heart of Era's rock. Uh, I know the stone you speak of, but... Air's Rock is quite far from Garo. I don't see how it could affect the people here. I wonder if it could be the wind. You probably figured it out yourself already, Felix. There were strong enough winds blowing within Air's Rock, those winds could carry far. Carry? Carry what? Ah, you're so dense. The power of the Synergy Stone. How is that possible? How could the stone's power be carried on wind? Do not belittle the power of the wind. Given time, the wind can grind great mountains down the sand. I mean, the wind at Air's Rock was strong enough to blow us off the ground. So why couldn't the wind carry particles of the stone all the way to Goro? She's right. right. Those particles from the Synergy Stone must have changed it with its power. This explains why your Synergy is weaker than 
that of Vale's people. You've been exposed to smaller particles. The wind patterns might also affect who among us in Garo can use whirlwind. Of course, this all is mere conjuncture, but it does offer some clues. Thank you, um... It's Sheba. I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, I haven't given you our names, Master Maha. I am Creighton. This is Jenna. And Felix. You must permit me to thank you all for what you've done. No, no, please. We don't need any thanks. Makes me always wondering. That's too bad. I was going to give you this. <laughs> it's a gin! A ginny. A ginny? Is that what you call him? When he is with you, he adds to your power. He is very helpful. I suppose you will be continuing your journey now. So you intend to travel by sea? That is a long journey. In that case, I think you will get more use out of this Jenny than I will. Is it Jenny or Jenny? I don't know. I want to say Jenny. I know this whole time we're calling them Jin, but yeah, another Ginny. Talk about lucky. Oh, that's not the voice. Oh well. This is a great gift. We are quite thankful. You don't need to thank me. Just take care on your travels. Good luck with the werewolf thing, Maha. Well, Felix, we must be going now. But I want a snoop. I'm a snoop. Snoop, shoop, badoop, snoop, badoop. Oh, okay. There's poo on the ground, and no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, well, that's actually nice that we got. Remember, I was like, oh, it's too bad we didn't find a wind gen anywhere. And yeah, there we go. Now we got one. Speaking of which, who's it with? Oh, it's Ether. Huh. That is perfect for Sheba, because uh, she is literally our Synergy battery, so... Which is funny, I actually should be giving the all those little effects, those little special Synergies, those out-of-world ones, to her, but you know what? Uh, the way I see it, Felix is not going to be using too much of it himself, so that's pretty good. That's good on us, at least. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but all right, cool. So that's pretty much all we can do in this village. So we're just gonna take off. I we're pretty much all stocked up. I should probably. How do we lose health? I don't know. You know, we didn't fight anything. Uh, I want to go in the inn. Let's stay at the inn. Yeah, I don't mind paying this time. Either way. So now that we've done that. There is, that's pretty much all we can do in this area, and uh, the next little phase of our journey is going to be a bit of a backtrack to some respects because we have to make it all the way back to Madara, Madara, Madra, and uh, we want to continue on to find Pierce now. Now that we've done all we can here, because we actually couldn't proceed to find Pierce without Reveal. So, by contrast, we needed to basically do that to find him. So, we gotta, find, we gotta get to here. And then we can make our way back here, and then we're gonna end up over here, pretty much. It's, uh, it's gonna be a long journey, so, uh... uh yeah, so this is gonna take us a little bit of going around, like just based off what I can see. Can I zoom in? Nope. Oh, that lock. Oh, I see. We can scroll through the different landmarks, which is kind of neat. 
Uh, I wish there was a way to zoom in a little bit, but apparently I can't. Nope. Nope. Well, that's a zoom out. Okay, so that's as close as we can get. So it looks like we're going to have to... It's possible. It should be possible to get all the way back to there, so... We're going to try and trek over there and hopefully make our way back over to Mikasala. So we'll see if we can actually make it there. And since that bridge is there, that's a good sign. Imagine trying to go this way. Like, this is the super long way to get over there. <laughs> so it's a Garo from um, Mikasala. That would just be crazy. It would definitely take us a long while. But since, uh... Since we've been this way before, I think we should be able to figure it out. Ah, yeah, there it is. Wonderful. We made it back here. I think just for expediency's sake, I'm gonna just cut back to... us when we get back to Madar. And, uh, so yeah, I'll be right back. Real quick, since we were right here, now that we have Reveal... This thing will point us in the direction we have to go? Is that what these were for? Just sworn these actually had other meaning to them. I hope that's not what they meant, because oh, that would have been a waste of trip. Ah, oh, thank goodness. No waste of trip here. Ooh. I think those were the only ones that were here. So, there's that. So, I'll cut back to Madar now. Bye. Alright, so we're back in Madar. There is something I want to do before we end off the episode, though. Because we can go back into the catacombs here. And I should actually put on one of these just in case. Don't want to get interrupted for no goddamn reason. Because these monsters will not attack us anymore as long as we have this up. So there might not be too much else we can do. You can't fully actually complete this dungeon without frost. Which is a huge thing we're missing. But because we got reveal can hit that switch now. And I believe that stays open forever. Uh, there is treasure over there. We can definitely do a whole lot more in here now than what we could before. I'll have to get up to that ledge somehow. So there's an open door way right there. We're actually on like the other side of here now, so we could actually plop that in place and should be able to get around to things now. Like, say, treasure, but I'm also gonna make sure we push this over so we can actually maneuver around there. And, ooh, an apple. What does an apple do? Boost attack. Well, I might as well just give it to Felix, since he is the one of our attackers. So I could check out that little doorway, but that'll bring us over there. There's something I should be able to climb. I can't remember what, though. Yeah. Well, let's go have a look inside this door. Maybe that might help us. So, paths are limited. We can go in there. You can see there was a tragic thing that happened here. Ruined a perfectly good table. But let's see what else we can find in here while we are here. So there was this upper level that we couldn't check out before. Barrels? Barrels. No, okay. Figured as much. I think this just brings us over. Oh, treasure. Lucky metal. Wonderful. So that was worth that journey right there. There's like quite a bit to explore around here. Um, there's this whole thing right here. Door seems to lock and it won't budge. We don't have a thing that can actually open it. So tremor, no lash, whirlwind, reveal. Nothing. There is something down the road, but we just don't have it at the moment. Could be frost. Honestly, I think it's frost. That's a dead end, but we can go this way. Let me check this out. A lot of damage. There's not too much else in this room, apparently. So we can't go up that way. So, got this little area. Nothing there. But 
mountain. Yeah. This is basically just to show us that there's a treasure chest on the other side. So not too much else we can do here. If only we could get up to that second level. But we can't because of that. Yeah, that would lead us directly to the place where we need to go, but... Them stairs are broken, yo. It doesn't look like there's anything we can do about that. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Unless I missed something. Nope. Oh well. Maybe there's another way. But yeah, having that frost would help, but otherwise we can't really get over there. So, let's see where else we could really go. And that pathway is blocked. Nothing we can do there. Do lash if we could actually get up there, but... See, so now that we can climb up here... Yeah, we're on this side of things, which is nice, but... Oh, could actually hop over here. Well then, there we go. Now I can actually get over here a little bit. Might as well... Wait a second. Can I... Is there any other way I can hop down? No? Okay, I have to go that way. That's fine. Let's do... Let's do the lash. Do a ropey lash. It was a lash. Alright, and... We would just hop down here. If we had frost, we could do that. I feel like... Yeah, we were just down here. Yeah, there doesn't look like much else we could do at the moment, because to get over to there, we have to be able to get to there, and to get to there, we need frost, so... That's pretty much as much as we can do at the moment, but hey, let's actually progress to what we were at before, so that's good. And this place would be a nice little stop-off before we continue on to the next part of our journey. Which, that place was going to be basically finding Pierce, which we were told he made his way over to the Gondonwan Cliffs, or at least that area, to find the Kibono people. I think that's how they were pronounced, I can't remember. But, so that's what we're going to do guys in the next part. So, until then you guys, this is Solar Primal signing out, and bye for now.